What is up? Fa oh, dear God. I think it could be that time of the year again. <laughs> Smooth as a baby's bottom. So, you read the title of the video. How long does it take for you to lose all your gains? I'm sure you've seen many of these YouTube transformations or de-transformations with famous fit farmers losing all their gains and you are probably wondering, Scott, how long does it actually take to lose your gains? Because we know that life is not optimal and it will throw a lot of shit at us. Oh, shit. We get sick, we have to go on holidays, we have to work, and there are some times where we just cannot get to the gym. So, are you gonna lose all your gains from one week, or two weeks, or three, four, five, six, seven, of not lifting? I'm here to answer that in the most scientific way possible. <laughs> I've done my research, guys. <laughs> So, let's split this video up into strength and muscle loss. Starting with strength. How long does it take you to lose all your strength? <laughs> hey guys, talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. Talk nerdy to me. <laughs> Short and sweet, three studies. Hakinen 2000, Ogasawara 2011, and Ogasawara 2013 have all concluded that you can detrain for up to three weeks without seeing any decreases in your strength. This is even confirmed by a huge systematic review, the master of all reviews, oh, by McMaster et al. 2013, who concluded that based on the previous literature, well-trained individuals can maintain maximum strength for up to three weeks without lifting, after which it then begins to decay after five to 16 weeks. Boop. Thank you, Mr. Nerdy Man. So now that strength is over, let's go into muscle loss. How long does it actually take for you to lose all your hard-earned gains? Ah! Much like strength, Fisher et al. 2013 and Huang, 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 Huang. <laughs> Huang et al. 2017 have concluded that actual muscle atrophy does not start to take place until two to three weeks of complete detraining, which only then comes back quickly on the onset of training, or at least in beginners anyway. Woo! But Scott, that can't be right. When I take time off the gym, I look small as <laughs> Surely I'm losing all my gains, no? <laughs> I like this hat. <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask that. Cue some science. Boom! Look at my down. Look at my down. Bitch, down. Look at my Yes, you are correct in saying that you might look smaller during a week or two of detraining because we know that our muscles store carbohydrates in the form of glycogen, okay? And with muscle glycogen comes a significant amount of intramuscular water. Therefore, when your glycogen levels are topped up, you'll be holding a lot of water within your muscle belly, making you look swole as hell. But when you start detraining, you will actually lose your capacity to store glycogen within the muscle, and with it will go a lot of your intramuscular water, thus making you look flat as a pancake. For example, Costille et al. 1985 showed that over a course of four weeks of detraining, athletes lost a significant amount of muscle glycogen within their muscles. As you can see, the millimoles per kilogram decreased week after week. But good news guys, these are quickly regained on the onset of training. As you can see by Ribeiro et al. 2014's graph, total body water, a key indicator of glycogen levels, is low pre-training, increases mid-training, and then increases again Again, post training. So when you get back to training after a period of detraining, you will start holding more glycogen, more water, and get back looking swole again. Perfetto. So although you may look smaller during a period of detraining, you are likely not going to lose any muscle mass until at least two to three weeks of complete detraining. So I wouldn't worry. So let's wrap this video up with a few practical implications. Boom. When detraining or taking any time off the gym, you are likely not gonna witness any muscle and or strength loss until two to three weeks of complete detraining. Even then, Bell et al, 1993 and Tavares et al, 2017 have shown that if you can manage to get to the gym at least one to two times per week, only lifting one to two times per week, you can completely mitigate any losses that you will experience from detraining and actually maintain and even build, yes, build, 
new muscle mass with as low frequency of just one to two times per week. So if you can't get to the gym six times per week, you can still maintain and even build your gains on only one to two times per week. Boop. Another study by Mikkel et al. 2011 even confirmed this, showing that you can maintain all your muscle size with as low as a third of the volume that you originally built it with. So as you can see from the graph, muscle cross-sectional area, type 1 muscle fibers, and type 2 muscle fibers all sort of raise, and then they just plateau for up to 48 weeks of training with just as low as a third of the volume that you originally made your gains on. Once again, showing that you do not need to be going beast mode in the gym to maintain your gains. Even if you can't get to the gym one to two times per week, and you do lose a little, 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 a little, 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 little. <laughs> a little bit of muscle mass in the long term does this really matter no as studies have shown that when you come back to training you only then catch up and almost super compensate all of your gains back and end up building the same amount of gains as if you were to not have taken a break whatsoever i found this fascinating <laughs> me too so as you can see from the graph by Olgasawara 2011 and 2013, the black group had a period of detraining where they did lose a little bit of muscle mass and then they trained again and then they detrained and they lost a bit. Whereas the white group had no period of detraining at all. And after 24 whole weeks, the black group who did have those little periods of muscle loss only ended up building and catching up to the same amount of muscle gained by those who took no break whatsoever. So again, don't worry, be happy. So don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy now. So, <laughs> that is the end of the video. If you like this video, then please like the video, subscribe to the channel. You're not gonna lose any gains. Go on holiday, have all the food babies in the world. Food baby time! Oh, why did I do that? More cheat meal time! <laughs> no fucking chance I'm doing that. Go on holiday and come back. Perfectly fine. See you later. Have a good day.